We used to believe that um, you could only eat, some people said 20 grams or some people said 30 grams of protein at a time. And um, that's all our bodies could digest. And then yep. a study in 2023 blew everybody out of the water. Mm -hmm. And they actually showed what they did is they gave people 100 grams of protein. It's really interesting how they did the study. They they injected this, um, what was it called? Uh, the researchers gave cows isotope amino acid infusion infusions, which became incorporated into the milk proteins produced by those cows. Athletes were given different amounts of this traceable milk protein, allowing researchers to trace how amino acids moved through their bodies post consumption. And they found that the people who ate 100 grams of protein at once, guys, at once versus 25, had a 19% higher muscle protein synthesis rate over four hours and a 30% higher rate over 12 hours compared to the 25 grams. So they were basically anabolic for a 12 hour window after eating that, which I say this with a grain of salt, because I also do gut microbiome testing <laughs> and deeper lab work, you know, with looking at people's livers and kidneys and all this. And I definitely find that not everyone has the gut health to be able to digest a, a high protein diet. So mm -hmm. if you're getting like sorry, just going to be blunt, like a uh, sulfur smelling farts from eating protein. That is not okay. Like you need to either reduce your protein. You probably just need to get a stool analysis from somebody who knows what they're doing and see what's going on. Cause you're probably missing some beneficial bacteria or you might not have good enough stomach acid or bile flow or your liver might get, be congested. There's all this stuff. So essentially if you're getting really like gassy, from eating high protein, don't eat, you got to fix your gut first. Um, yep. And also if you're maybe getting like really high symptoms of inflammation, like literal skin rashes or just major brain fog and fatigue from increasing protein, like those are kind of some warning signs. So, you know, we look at this in healthy populations, but not most of America ain't healthy right now completely. So I, gotta... I want to just add to that. Um, I, something that I have really noticed a difference is taking enzymes and there's an HCL guard that has changed my life because Good. it breaks down that protein. It unravels it so that mm -hmm. your body can use it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of women don't have the, the right stomach acid as we age men 100%. too. And so you might feel, Oh, when you eat too much protein, well, I could literally eat a cow and feel great taking the HCL guard. That has been a game changer. Mm -hmm. And then fixing that gut because if you regardless if it's protein or other nutrients, if your gut's messed up, you're not going to absorb those nutrients that you're taking in. A hundred percent. I just had a client go through a massive, like, she's like, I've lost weight. I feel amazing. Cause I did, I have a, a protocol for a, a betaine HCL test that I do with my mm -hmm. clients when I'm seeing signs of low stomach acid and betaine HCL is just going to, that's what she's talking about. It's going to directly increase your stomach acid. Right. Mm -hmm. So essentially what we're doing is starting with like a 300 milligram taken in the middle of a real meal. Then we jump to 600, then we jump to 900, then we jump to a uh, 12 and then all the way up to 15 until they feel burning. And she's mm -hmm. like, I've been at that 15. I ain't feeling no burning. And I'm wow. like, keep going. And all she had skin rashes. Like we had to run a gut test on her because she had all these rashes. She's like inflamed, retaining water, like major brain fog, just feeling gross, you know, and holy crap, like a month, month or two max later, she's like, I have lost all that inflammation. I have no rashes. I can tell I'm getting all the nutrients out of my food. I'm only eating to satiety now. Mm -hmm. And I wish all gut cases were as simple as that. Um, they aren't, but, um, just to make a kind of point for the stomach acid thing is really, yeah. really important. And doctors are putting people on the opposite right. path very often. I won't get into all that, but yeah. yeah. Okay. Which by the way, I had Nate, Dr. Nathan Bryan on. Nice. And he, um, we've got into the fact that those PPIs are killing your stomach acid right. and it's going to cause you not to have cardiovascular health, which is going to affect your gains in the gym, right? So if you have low stomach or low nitric oxide, you're not going to be able to work out like you're wanting to work out. And that's connected to stomach acid. So, okay, I am going to take a quick second on this because it does it does apply to your ability to build muscle and recover. Mm -hmm. Okay, so most people, there's a very small percentage of people that you know they're having acid reflux or heartburn or something, and they actually do have high stomach acid. Very rare. 
for yeah. the most part that is happening because the stomach acid is too low and it's causing dysfunction at the sphincters from your esophageal one at the top of your stomach mm -hmm. and the one in your pyloric one that goes down into your intestines when it's not acidic enough which is a huge problem huge mm -hmm. like almost everybody you know um because of our toxic world our high stress lifestyles our food lack of food quality blah blah blah, blah. you go to the doctor and they say, or you go to the grocery store and you take Tums, which is a what? An antacid, right? Which is, yes, a temporary Band-Aid because you're not going to feel the effects of that. But now you're increasingly lowering, lowering, lowering. And these PPIs are stomach acid lowering medications. So you're literally making it worse. And just ask somebody, just ask somebody on a PPI if if they've been on it for a while. If, if ask them this, do you feel like it's still helping? Mm -hmm. They almost always say, I don't even feel like this is working anymore. Yeah. yeah. Because you are like dangerously, re anyway, I, I yeah. probably, anyway, I will just say this, try, and, and if you already are on a PPI, don't just cold turkey it. You need to work with somebody. It, it has to be a titrated experience. Okay. But in general, if you are having like a lot of bloating, a lot of gas, you don't feel like you're digesting your food well, just try that betaine HCL test that I just mm -hmm. described and see if that improves things. It's not and that. What the great thing is, is if you don't need it, your stomach's going to burn. It you will just, tell you. Yeah. And then you're like, okay, I'm good. I don't need this. And it's a very cheap supplement, but if you do need it, which you probably do, <laughs> it is going to be life-changing. And that's right. Because if we cannot extract the nutrients out of our food, it's going to be very difficult to build muscle appropriately, feel satiated from our meals, have all the proper vitamins and minerals to make our metabolism metabolisms work correctly, et cetera. So it is worth a quick. And I'll just say this one last thing on that. I used to get E. coli and salmonella and any gut bugs would just flourish right. in my gut because really? I didn't have enough stomach acid yep. and I would be bloated after almost every meal. Yep. I am not bloated ever. Mm -hmm. And I have not had any E. coli or salmonella in years ever yeah. since taking the supplement. So awesome. it has been a game changer. And what's so great is now I eat foods that I would have never touched before because I was too scared. So yeah. awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Happy to hear it. Yeah. Cause the, the, your stomach has to be acidic enough to properly trigger bile release and bile is like this astringent that cleans things out. And so if you can't, and then you can't break down fats well, and it's just kind of a nightmare and it's usually rooted, you know, a lot, a lot of gut issues are start in the stomach big time. Yeah.